Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. Guess what? I am in one of the most exciting places for me anyway, which is manufacturing facility owned by Toyota, TMMC, Toyota Motor Manufacturing Inc. right here in Cambridge. And I have Frank with me, who is the president. Can you tell us a little bit more about you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Frank Voss, president of Toyota Motor Manufacturing Canada here in Cambridge and in uh, Woodstock. Um, I've been with Toyota for 23 years in the automotive industry for 35, so I've seen a lot of change. Excellent. And tell me a little bit more about what makes Toyota manufacturing different from other brands, from other car companies. Oh, I think uh, Toyota, Toyota is a, uh, it's a very interesting place to work. I think really, you know, a lot of people talk about, a lot of companies talk about, you know, the people are the most important thing. Yeah, I think yeah. Toyota truly believes that. You know, if you, uh, if you go out into production and you talk to team members, they are the experts in what they do every day, right? right? And uh, you know all about Kaizen, you know all about the opportunity for team members. If they want to change mm -hmm. something, they can put up their hand and they have the opportunity to make better, uh, a better process and improve their, their daily uh, lives, right? right? So, so it is truly bottoms up as opposed to top down. Right? That's right. Because we talk about that a lot in business and a lot of companies talks about bottoms up, you know, in terms of hierarchy and thinking the philosophy, but very few companies actually practice that and you guys truly believe that people who are working are the most knowledgeable, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, and I think the, um, you know, you and I were talking earlier today yes. ab about uh, some of the challenges in the auto industry and the stress yes. and the hours that people work, right? Yes, yes, um, yes. Uh, Production is the same. Production mm. has a uh, high demand, right? We're, uh, after we came out of COVID, volumes have, have dramatically increased and, yes, yes. and everybody is, is very busy. Um, but we're also taking a look at team member happiness. If you have to come to this place every day, yes, yes, right? Yes. Wouldn't you want to come to a place that, that uh, is mm -hmm. its positive environment? It has, right. uh, uh, we've taken care of uh, the simple things, right? Mm. That, that we have uh, good access to uh, cafeteria services and uh, you know, washrooms are clean and the, the space is, is bright and shiny. And uh, you know, it, it's a place that you're going to spend a lot of time. So hopefully, it has uh, it has an environment that supports that, right? Supports that. So yeah. I, I think it's an important balance. Interesting, and especially like if you look at the uh, the Toyota philosophy, the corporate philosophy, right on Toyota's uh, main website, is the happiness for all, right? right? That's right. So that has to somehow cascade through what we call hoshing, I think, and cascade down to people so that you guys can can create the environment that's will be create happiness for everyone. Uh, what about the whole idea of Kaizen, how did they get the time and the energy to come up with ideas for improvement and implement them when they're so busy? Uh, you know, we, uh, we, we encourage them to think about their improvements all the time, right? right yeah. And um, we are making time available. We have a very structured process that we free up time to, to do that. Uh, we have an activity right now that we initiated. Uh, it's been about 18 months that we've been running it. Um, but it is called, uh, it's called Three Pillar. And, Three Pillar, And okay. one of the activities is called Cross Check. So okay. you get a team member on uh, the opposite shift. Yes. Okay. So maybe uh, A shift and B shift. You take those two team members and you say, hey, you guys uh, and gals, go and take a look at the, your processes. See what each other shift does, if there's any differences. And then make a list of things that you think could be uh, improved. improved. On the same area? In the same area. Just the, the same shift people, just shifting, so shifting two, people around. So those two shift people, yeah. they get together on day shift and then they, they take the time. They take a full week okay. and they go through, they look at the their standardized work, they take yes. a look at yeah. the area. Um, and uh, it can be something as simple as, you know, the way that my process is set up, I have a gun here that I got to pass by every time I go do this process. And it hits right, me in yeah. the hip and it's annoying. Right. And I do that every, every uh, yeah. rotation, every I single see. car, right? right okay. So just a simple change for them, mm. but it's something that is in, it's annoying, right? Right. So giving them an opportunity to make those kinds of changes as well yeah. as bigger process changes, yeah. We, yeah. we do provide time for that. And so they actually get separate time from the production time to work on Kaizen, right? Whereas many companies say somehow make it work, even though they're working nonstop in production, they have no time to make changes. You guys set aside separate time. That's right. right. What about like, uh, let's say TBP, Toyota Business Practices, uh, whole promise of technique that you guys introduced back in 2001 or 2002 and went global in 2006. That's right. How do you, but, but it's an eight step process that's a little bit complicated for average people maybe, how do you use that? Or do you use that here a at TMC? Absolutely, the yeah. thinking way, uh, fundamentally, I believe another uniqueness of Toyota is mm. we're a problem solving company, Yes, yes. right? It starts with understanding the problem, right? right? And uh, we say Genji Gambutsu, always go go for yourself, go understand, go to the, to, go to the, the floor and see okay. for yourself. Um, but you have to understand the problem and, yes, you, yes. and then you have to get data to kind of understand it well enough that you can break it down, mm. right? So. 
maybe you, when you walk on the on the floor, you won't see uh, the eight-step process, right. but you'll see a mm. simplified form of it for everything. I see. Right. I see. Okay. So, and team members are encouraged yeah. to do that problem solving. So, if you're going to okay. come, say, I have this issue. Yes. Well, give me some information. Okay. Right. Some do data. Do root cause some, analysis. You know, do your root cause analysis. Yeah. Right. Investigate do data your, collection. Do your fishbone. Break yeah. it down. Okay. Right. Identify which is the biggest contributor. Then focus on solving that because you can't solve everything. Right. But yes. you can make yeah. improvements. But you need a structured yeah. way to do that. Yeah. Okay. So you can't just go and say I have an idea. Right. You have to actually go through the motion of breaking it down, right. figuring up root cause, figuring out what what's causing the problem, and then brainstorming ideas. And in the process yeah. of doing the, the, the problem solving, you're learning about problem solving. Yes, that's right. right. Yes. So yeah, you need people yeah. to help you. So we have right. people who do mentorship, mm. who do mendomi, as we call it, right? Caring for others. Yes. That, yes. that work through the process with them to lead them through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we have, I, we talked about Kaizen and uh, the kind of the cross check activity. We also have quality circle activity. Yes, okay, but QC circle. QCC, yes, yes. That, that activity also, it's based on the foundation of problem solving. Right. Last question. For those people who are learning lean manufacturing or for the production system for the system for the first time and they say, hey, my folks just you know can't seem to adopt that thinking and philosophy, what do what would you suggest for them? That's a that's a very good question. <laughs> the, the first step is sometimes the hardest. Right. right? Okay. Yeah. Trying to, yeah. to understand. And again, uh, visualization is very, very important for okay. lean. You need to understand what's necessary for the process, yes, right? Yeah. What am I doing to contribute? Mm. One piece flow is really the foundation of yes. lean. So yep. what's the inventory in front of my process? What's the inventory after my process? What okay. quality am I shipping, okay, right? I see, and I see. Is, is this uh, process basically capable? Okay, uh, I see. But it really comes back to visualization. If right. you can't see it, it's hard to understand. I see, so back to the basic, It's right? very, like very basic. Best, yep. flow, uh, waste reduction, back to basic, and start from there and then build a culture and philosophy, philosophy based on the experience, I guess. Exactly. Okay, I think we're just about out of time. So thank you so much again, Frank. We're so excited to be here. Uh, best of wishes, best wishes for the next several years. Thanks, Sabi. Gl glad thank to have you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Now let's go and watch the complete presentation by TMMC executive and find out what's going you on. You may not know me, I'm Scott McKenzie. I'm Director of Corporate and External Affairs for Toyota Canada, including Toyota Motor Manufacturing Canada. And for me, uh, where my career started, I won't mention how long ago, um, as many of you know, Toyota is celebrating 60 years of operations in Canada. 60 years. And in Japanese culture, 60 years is a very significant cultural milestone called Kanreki. Rather than meaning you're getting older, uh, Kanreki actually represents rebirth. It's an opportunity to reflect on one's past, take stock of the present, and prepare for the future. Fittingly, it's also the theme of our 60th anniversary cross-Canada tour that a few of you are joining us on. As a company that's committed to building where we sell, we're pleased to share this moment of reflection as we look at the past, the present, and future of manufacturing in Canada. To do that, please join me in welcoming President of Toyota Motor Manufa Manufacturing Canada and my boss, Frank Voss. It rhymes. <laughs> Thanks, Scott, and uh, welcome, everyone. We're, uh, we're so happy that you've included this stop on uh, this 60th anniversary tour across Canada and just in time to also help celebrate a milestone of our own. Uh, we just built the 11th million vehicle here uh, in Canada, which is a fantastic milestone for, for, uh, for Toyota. And uh, I'd also like to introduce a few of our executives. Hopefully you had a chance to talk to some of them here. We've got uh, Derek Kidney, Vice President of Administration, and Erin Buchanan, she's in the back there. She is our General Manager for the North Plant that builds the uh, Lexus NX and the RAV4, and then Jeff Small, general manager of the award-winning Lexus plant that builds RX. And Scott just mentioned the uh, 60th anniversary here in Canada, and I'd like to share a little bit about Team MC and how we fit into this incredible story. Our journey, it begins back in 86, when Toyota Motor Corporation in Japan first announced this second manufacturing facility in North America, the first here in Canada. And two years later, the blue Corolla that you see on display out in the showroom rolled off the line. We had a starting capacity of just 50,000 vehicles a year. And with steady growth, it took almost 11 years to build our first million vehicle. We've grown significantly since then. Um, last year, we've, we made over 500,000 vehicles. And uh, our last million vehicles only took us two years to build. 
So we're really happy that you're here today to help us celebrate this 11 millionth vehicle milestone. And I'd like to highlight some of our biggest achievements and accomplishments that have taken place between our humble beginnings and this 11th million vehicle. And it's a real story of steady growth over the past 36 years. In 97, Team MC, we expand, expanded from that first plant to our second. And you're here in the north plant that we added. It was built to accommodate uh, the second vehicle in our lineup, but it not only increased our capacity, it also doubled the number of team members. And in 2000, uh, we were also fortunate to be the first plant outside of Japan to be awarded a Lexus vehicle, the Lexus RX. The Lexus RX, it started in production in uh, 2003, and it is the number one selling Lexus model. It's also the number one in its segment, both in Canada and in the US. And in 2008, TMMC's third plant started production. And this plant is the, the one down the road in Woodstock. First greenfield assembly plant in Canada in over 30 years. And the uh, RAV4 is built in that plant, North America's favorite SUV. In 2019, we also announced that we'll be building our second Lexus model, which was the NX, and includes a, a hybrid version into our North plant. And this is the only plant outside of Japan uh, to build two Lexus vehicles. I'll also point out that that line is building Lexus and Toyota on the same line. So that's the first plant outside of Japan to do that. Within Toyota, you couldn't ask for three better vehicles to have in manufacturing. We are the largest Toyota manufacturing facility by volume, and in North America, we remain the largest manufacturing operation here in Canada. Producing almost 40% more vehicles than the second place OEM. Over $10 billion has been invested here in this incredible facility. We employ more than 8,500 highly skilled team members and produce the most highly sought after products, which is pretty amazing. But volume isn't the only thing I'm proud of. Um, as of June of this year, Team MC is tied as the most awarded plan for quality in the world. Out in the showroom, you'll see on display our 22 JD Power Quality Plant Awards. And they're especially meaningful because they are customers' voice. TMC has also been one of Canada's top employers for the last 20 years. We're also proud to be one of the greenest employers. One of the reasons we win this award is our commitment to reducing emissions from our manufacturing operations. And it's part of Toyota's commitment to carbon neutrality in manufacturing operations by 2035. That's an aggressive target and we have every intention of, of meeting that target. Recent announcements about new electrified vehicle production in the province have captured a lot of attention and we agree that it's very good for the auto industry, especially here in Canada. TMMC, we are similarly preparing for our future. In our current lineup, the RAV4, the RX, the NX, they all have hybrid electric options. And our recent investments here at TMMC do ensure that our plants are well positioned to build these vehicles of the future. Our Canadian plants are also recognized within Toyota for innovation. We're here in the, uh, this Waterloo Innovation Corridor and we have great access to companies that are very innovative as well as an excellent ecosystem including universities and colleges. We have a terrific set of talent in this area to help us do that. And we see it as our biggest competitive advantage when it comes to attracting future business. But Toyota, we are a cautious company. Rest assured, we know that the future is electric, and I can see five years down the road, I believe that we will continue to expand our electrified powertrains. But the consumer will decide what they want and will determine the ratio of what we built. We're also confident that we'll meet our environmental commitments through a multi-platform approach. In fact, I believe that we'll be the first to get there. Earlier I mentioned we're celebrating a Team MC milestone here today. And so now I'd like to ask you to join me out in the showroom for the unveiling of our 11 millionth vehicles. So on behalf of uh, Toyota Canada, TMMC and TCCI, very proud of uh, this 11 millionth vehicle and uh, it will be going on the journey across Canada, which some of you may be participating in. So um, very proud of the fact that, uh, that it's here with you all today. Right after this, we were giving a complete factory tour at TMMC. And you guys know that I have been to almost every Toyota plant around the world, especially those in Japan. And I came away completely impressed 
with the fact that the Toyota plant here in Canada looks just as good and maybe in some cases better than some of the other Toyota plants I have been. I think TMMC has one of the best manufacturing practices, great philosophy, the right mindset, and I do know a fair amount of people that work there and they have the, just the kind of perfect thinking that we need to have a perfect car. And I think TMMC has all of the right methodology processes in place to build some of the best cars in the world. And I'm really glad and also very proud that our Canadian plant is in fact one of the best factories in the world. So that concludes my entire trip to TMMC, but there's still more to come in terms of the 60th anniversary visit. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.